Hey guys, Nikki here with the first shots update on the XK68. If you haven't seen my previous videos on the Saga, I ordered a cheap IR laser off eBay, and have been talking about its performance, as well as the marketing tactics around it. I ended up mounting the XK68 onto my Ballin on a Budget Palmetto AK, and today I'm going to give you my experience on the installation and testing process. In my last video, you saw that I had to fix the XK's mount, so going into this experience, I was concerned about how secure it would be. While I'm not 100% sure about how this will mount onto other AKs, I'm using Palmetto's Zenico B10 knockoff. And I don't care what the stupid name is, I'm not going to use it. Unlike the Zenico, where you have to file down the handguard to fit the receiver, Palmetto's handguard has a set screw to wedge into place. As much as I hate this method, since it bulges out the lower receiver like you just had a catastrophic squib, the handguard does stay in place with no movement when in normal use. The one upside to Palmetto's handguard is that it uses M-Lock instead of the Zenico basis system, which allowed me to easily use a Magpul pick section to mount the XK on. Even with the adapter, the XK feels secure on the rail and isn't hanging out the side of the rifle any more than something like a peck. For my testing, I lined up the laser with my red dot so that it would be easier to see any change. As you can see, my initial shot group landed directly underneath the center point, which makes sense due to the group being shot at 25 yards and my red dot being sighted at 50 yards. For half the rounds that the XK had through it, I had my Huxworks QD suppressor on the end of the AK, giving me the best gases Russian ammo has to offer, money shotted straight into my southpaw face. At the end, I shot three groups, showing a slight creep upwards where the bullet hit the target. It was also easy to see the shift through the red dot, since the laser could be seen separately from the red dot sight. While I did experience some accuracy shift after 115 rounds with the visible laser, there's a reason this video doesn't have a baity title like XK68 Update Useless and Broken, since I think the shift I saw is reasonable, given the circumstances. My Palmetto AK is incredibly overgassed, so much so that it actually beat itself out of headspace and had to be sent back for repairs after 400 rounds. That whole experience was a kick in the dick that I can get into in another video. Anyway, when I attached the XK68 to this AK, I knew that I was giving it the worst possible platform to prove its reliability and accuracy. Even with the shift, the laser itself was staying relatively precise with no sporadic movement during my two range sessions. Any laser aiming module, or LAM, is going to have inherent accuracy issues after a while, no matter if they're quote unquote legit or not. Doing barricade shooting, having aggressive recoil, or even just bumping the install device can cause the laser to be knocked off zero. The laser emitters have to be able to move, otherwise it would be impossible to align your specific rifle. A common misconception I see online is that potting, or the process of applying epoxy onto the LAM circuit board, will somehow prevent the laser emitter from moving. During potting, the epoxy is usually only applied to areas with solder joints, like wires and the main circuit board. This will theoretically keep the electronic components more secure, and prevent solder points from breaking under recoil. Epoxy is not applied anywhere on the alignment or windage adjustments for the laser, since it would be permanently kept in place with no chance of movement. The footage I'm showing is from a channel called Angry Asian Fabrication. He's been my go-to guy for trying to learn more about night vision. He had extensive experience using packs during the GWAT era, and even those had to be re-zeroed every so often. Now granted, yeah, it did lose zero on me around the 750 round mark, but you know, any type of laser aiming module, it's typical that you're going to have to re-zero it right around a thousand rounds. My experience as a ranger with the LA-5 was basically every time that we even went on a night shoot, we would be zeroing these damn things beforehand. Just because, you know, it's not a 100% reliable piece of equipment, you know. It's something that's battery powered, it's electronic, so you have to constantly maintain it. So just something to keep in mind. If you're looking to get into night vision or even try to learn about fabrication, I'd give this channel a look. So what are my final thoughts on the XK68? I think this laser does everything it sets out to do. For a while now, Summo Gear has been widely talked about as the best budget IR device they can get. But for about 100 bucks, the XK will allow you to get into IR aiming. I would argue that for half the price of the Summo Gear, you're getting half the functionality with the lack of a full power laser or an IR illuminator but I understand wanting to spend as little as possible for your first IR device or maybe a backup for your backup. My recommendation is to know the limits of the device. I would stay away from anything high recoiling like my AK. I think this would be a great device for a 22 rifle or maybe a silky smooth AR-15. 
As with any aiming device you're using, doing checks on zeros every couple hundred rounds will make sure the XK stays accurate. And besides the slight laser shift, the unit never cut out on me, keeping the laser on with all my shots and still being functional. Although the tape switch is already starting to act a little funky, with the toggle switch now being a momentary switch if I just brush against it gently. Oh well, the switch mount kind of sucks ass anyway. I would just buy it on Amazon at the moment, since returning it will be a breeze if it shits the bed, and you can get your money back. Sadly, finding this thing on eBay or Alibaba for a good price is now basically impossible. Hopefully, that changes one day. If you're interested in how much SMS Laser is upcharging the XK68, check out my two previous videos on this device. Thanks for watching. Keep it real, guys. Diopter on it. No, it's out. Are you?